Okay, I want to find the area under this curve. Well, actually, you don't want to find it. You want to set it up. So if I'm doing an integral, what's my interval for this picture? My interval is from negative 1 to 1. So where do I put the negative? Which one's the negative? Which one's the positive? Well, which is the smaller value? The negative 1. So you start at the bottom and work your way up to the top. Now, the function, it's not showing, but here's the function. And what would be at the end of it? dx, dy, d, whatever. Well, what's the variable inside? x. So you need to have a dx. If you don't put dx, it's wrong. Okay. This next one. The problem is, here's the equation on the next one. The next one's equation, I need to write it out first because otherwise it might be a little bit more confusing. Now this one's in terms of y. That's the equation for this graph. What would be after this? It's dy because what letters are inside? Y. Now, since this is dy, we're finding area along this interval. Got it? It's backwards. It's kind of weird, but it is backwards. OK. Now, what is my interval on my y-axis? It's from what to what? Zero, zero to two. So which one's going to go here, the smaller or the larger? Small. Smaller, which is? Zero. zero. Bigger, which is? Two. Now, if this was in terms of x's, wouldn't it be from zero to four? But it's in terms of y. You can find area with your rectangle sideways, or your line sideways. Next, we're going to graph this and find the area under the curve using geometry. Is this a line? Where, where's my big, isn't this the line y equals negative x plus 8? Isn't it simply that? 8 minus x, isn't it this? Which means, don't we begin at 8 here? and go down 1 over 1 and so forth. You guys okay with that? This is simply a graph y equals negative x plus 8. And what is this question asking for? It wants the area under the curve. From 0, doesn't it say from 0 to 8? The area from 0 to 8, is this from 0 to 8 underneath that line? So first thing you do is take this equation, you graph it. Then you take the interval, and you find the area for that interval only. And then you use geometry. Well, isn't that a triangle? We're not even showing you how to use integrals to do it yet. You're just setting it up. So isn't your area just uh, 1 half base times height? Well, wouldn't my area simply be 1 half? Well, my base is 8. My height's 8. So isn't that simply going to be like 32 or something? Thirty-two square units? It's pretty simple. If all you do is look at it as a shape and use geometry, it's simple. We'll talk about the harder ones later, but now we're just setting them up. Now, for instance, this one, ugly. Finding the area under the curve from, what's the interval? 2 to 4? That could be ugly. I can't find geometric shapes to do that. But what they'll give you is they'll give you each piece individually. Do you see the intervals for each piece? Do you understand I can separate this into three pieces? I could separate this. They'll give you these three things. It's given. So for the first piece is 6, correct? Can I rewrite this as 6dx plus 2x dx plus, oops, minus, is that okay? Are we okay if I separate that to three different integrals? Are you okay with that being minus because it's a minus x to the third? 
Now, does this match one of these? No, but isn't this look a lot like it? Can I take that six and just put it out front? And leave it be one DX? How am I going to change this one to look like this? Can I take the two and throw it out front? And then the last one, it matches up. So to find the area under the curve, if I'm given all these things, could I just add up those numbers and find the area? Because I've already been given the, the area of this one is 60 in the interval. The area of this one is 6. The area of this one is 2. Since I have all the areas, can I find them? Yeah. What's this right here equal? Well, isn't that 2? So won't this just simply be 6 times 2? What's the area of this? Is that 6? And the area of this one is 60? So 6 times the 2, 2 times the 6, minus 60. That gives me the area under the curve as long as all the information was given ahead of time. So basically 24 minus 60. My answer is going to be negative 36. Negative means it's under the x-axis. My area, most of this graph is below the x-axis. That's what the negative meant.